Hello dear students, uh, welcome to the first lecture of the bridge course of PCOM. This is a bridge course. This course is mainly for evaluating you are the plus two background. Okay, and this is the subject, the management. This bridge course topic is management. The subject is also management. So let me introduce myself. My name is Vibin Benny. Working as an assistant professor, research department of commerce, Saint Thomas College, Trishur. Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss what he, uh, uh, what are the history of the management, and what are the functions of the management, like the planning and organizing. So, what is the management, and this evolution of this management, and the functions. And what is the planning and what is organizing? Okay. Anyway, starting with what uh, syllabus? This is the syllabus of your the business management for the bridge course. This is the syllabus regarding your the business management for the bridge course. Uh, so this is a module five. There is a history of the management. This evolution of the management. Uh, what are the functions of the management? Planning, organizing, staffing directing coordination and controlling uh, these are the important functions regarding the management uh, what are the basic principles of the management what are the important principles of management what is the finance management the management process and importance of the communication in the business uh, these are the major elements of the this subject these are the major content of the business management so we have already planned two lectures the first lecture we are ready to explain uh, what uh, what do you mean by the team is management and what is history of the management and what are the functions the planning and organizing okay anyway starting with the what do you mean by the team is the management in your the plus two classes you're familiar the word is the management what is the management the management is like an art of getting things done through others. That is simple meaning of the management. It's like an art of getting things done through others. And management sometimes is like an administration. The management or managing is an administration of the organization, whether it is business or the non-profit organization. So it's like a managing or administrating the functions of the business organization government body. The term is known as your the management. According to Henry Fayol, he defined the management is to manage, to forecast, to plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate, and to control. So that is the definition put forward by the Henry Fayol. That means to manage, to forecast, to plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate, and to control. Okay, so and this is a team regarding your the management. So uh, the bridge goes part of you. We're discussing what you mean by team is management, and the history, the evolution of the management, and the planning, organizing, staffing, and the different functions of the management and the importance of the communications in the management and we are starting with the history of the management this is the evolution of this management the management have the four eras or the four important period the first period is a pre-scientific period and second period is a classical period and third one is a neoclassical period and fourth one is uh, the modern period these are the four important period associated with your the management. They have the, uh, the management have the pre-scientific period. That means before the scientific management. And classical theory period, that means it's a part of scientific management. Neoclassical theory and modern theory. And these are the four important period or the history regarding your the management. Okay, and the first one is the pre-scientific period. At the pre-scientific period, the management has purely depends upon the customs, traditions followed by the Roman Catholic Church. 
that is uh, the first important element of the pre scientific period and they have believed that the military form of the organization the success of the management is a purely depends upon the military forms of the organization so the contribution include the one is the roman catholic church in the pre scientific period the management contribution made by the roman catholic church and the military organization and another contributors are the charles babbage and the james watt the charles babbage and james watt are the major contributor in the field of the pre scientific period that's the first important period regarding the management that is a pre scientific period that's a contribution made by the roman catholic church military forms the roman catholic church that means they are the customs the tradition their planning their the policy making their procedures have influenced the man concept of the management so that's the first important period that is a pre scientific period and the contribution made by the roman catholic church so we are familiar with the roman catholic church the christian community church and they believe the uh, the participation coordinations for the success so the management is also believes that the participation and the coordination is essential for the success of the management so there is a military form there is a line of authority strict control authority responsibilities these are the part of the management so and another contributor the james uh, Ch uh, james uh, charles babbage james watt the contributing the lot of the ideas regarding the management in the pre scientific period okay that is the first important period relating with the management that is the pre scientific period and second period is a classical period the classical period means scientific period and here there is a one of the important contribution made by the f w taylor henry fayol and is a uh, bureaucratic uh, bureaucratic models so as henry fayol uh, f w taylor are the major contributors in the field of the a classical theory or the cl uh, scientific management so the the first important contributor of the classical period is uh, f w taylor we have the familiar the taylor principles the taylor principles like the scientific method of selection training standardization and the differential piece rate system the coordination and the cooperations are uh, these are the important principles put forward by the f w taylor so there's a time study there's a motion study these are the important elements of the scientific management okay so there's a in this classical period the first important contribution made by the we are the fw taylor the taylor is one of the important contributor in the scientific period or the classical theory period and second contribution made by the henry fayol the henry fayol is a father of the modern management so he contributed by the administrative management the 14 golden principles regarding your the management what are the 14 golden principles so we have starting with the the uh, division of work parity authority discipline centralization decentralization scalarity in the esprit de groups initiative this are the 14 principles regarding your the management that's major contribution done by the uh, henry fayol he published one of the famous book in 1940s regarding the aspects of the management okay and third one is bureaucratic model the bureaucratic model and classical period there is third important element is the bureaucratic model this model is framed by the max weber this contribution made by the max weber so these are the three important elements regarding the classical period or the scientific period here the management contribution made by the f w taylor henry fayol and the max weber and third one is the neo classical the neo classical is another important period in the management and here a uh, lot of the expert conduct and a lot of experiment to familiarize the concept of the management the one of the important experiment is the hawthorne experiment the next experiment is conducted to identify the behavior of the humans so there is one of the important uh, era or the important periods regarding the management that is a neo classical period so lot of the experiment like the hawthorne experiment and report experiment gal this is conducted this conducting lot of the experiment in the field of the management so that is the, the neo classical period and the last one is the modern period 
and this is a modern period in modern period the management believe the three two important elements what is a system approach another one is a contingency approach the management treat the system so the management is a, uh, treat the entire elements as a system there is a subsystems finance marketing hrm the technical there are the subsystems of the management so the management believes there is a system approach is essential for the success of your the management and the, one of the important element contingency approach the contingency approach says that the manager is act according to the situations the team is known as your the contingency approach okay and these are the four important period of the history of the management one is the pre scientific period another one is a classical period third one is neo classical period and the fourth one is the modern period okay and the pre scientific period the contribution made by the roman catholic church the military organization then writers like the charles babbage and james wall these are, these are the major contributor in the pre scientific period and second one is a classical period is the consist of scientific management administrative management and the bureaucratic model so there is a f scientific management f w taylor administrative management hanry fayul bureaucratic model is uh, max weber and the third one is neo classical that is a hawthorne experiment and modern theory of the management believe there is a twin bottom approach one is a system approach another one is a contingency approach okay uh, let's see this a uh, transitions in this management uh, this is the diagram shows the transitions in the management from the classical approach to the modern approach so listen it was 1819 the concept of the labor management has evolved in 90s period the 19th century the scientific management is so contributed by the f w taylor and the 1910 there is a bureaucratic ma management there is a Max Weber, 1920. There is administrative management by the Henry Fayol, the Fayol 14 principles, and 1913. There is a human relation management. That means human consideration. The human feelings are taken into considerations. So there is a human relation management. The 1930s, at uh, 1940s, there is a quantitative approach, and 1950 there is a behavioral approach. 1960 there is system approach. and 1970 there is a contingency approach and 1919 this changes like innovation reengineering process and is uh, in 2010 uh, we believe this concept of the knowledge management and the system approach there is a corporate social responsibility and in the kala ghatangal we considering the concept csr at present in the in the kala ghatangal the most important management current scenario we believe in the concept of csr corporate social responsibility or oh, this is a transition idana management la one very important transitions karan 1890 to the 2010 what the important changes are happened in your the management there is a starting from the labor management and at present we believe the csr responsibility and sustainability of the network that is the current scenario and in present in current scenario uh, we believe the management is essential because you have to take the right decision at the right time so the management is essential for the success of your the organizations so this is a transition period the history of the management from the 1890 to the 2010 okay so that is a history the history is starting from the four important period there is a pre scientific there is a classical and third word neo classical and the modern theory and there is the transition from the classical approach to the modern approach okay let us discuss the functions of this management so the management one of the one of the important functions we have already familiar the functions of the management planning organizing staffing directing controlling these are the important functions of the management the functions are start from the planning and there is a organizing there is a staffing there is a directing and the controlling because there is a mutual connection between these functions the planning staffing directing controlling so this is star function we call this a star function because there is a mutual interconnection between the functions of the management so experts argue that these functions are the star functions so because there is a framing like a star model so there is planning staffing controlling organizing and the, the directing 
and similarly the controlling organizing directing planning and the staffing so there is the organizing the directing and the planning staffing and the controlling and there is a planning organizing and uh, controlling and staffing there is a st star format and these are the important functions of the management one is the planning another one is organizing and second one is staffing and third one is directing and another one is the controlling okay these are the important functions of the management okay uh, let us start the first important function is the planning so what is the first important function so planning is the first important function the most significant functions in your the organization let us discuss what you mean by the term is the planning the planning means deciding advance what should be done in future the team is known as your the planning the planning bridges the gap between where we are and where we want to go that is one of the important elements of planning that means why when where how who that's the answer the planning give the answers to this question where when why how and uh, who so there is a planning bridges the gap between where we are and where we want to go that is the first important the functions of the planning the deciding advance what should be done in future you are discussing some important characteristics of the planning what are the important characteristics of the plan the first important characteristic of the planning is always a goal oriented the goal oriented and the first there is a first one is a managerial function the planning is uh, it's not a goal and the first important is the, the managerial function the planning is considered as one of the important the managerial function that means the deciding advance what should be done in future so can forecasting that's a planning is is a devices used to for the forecasting so like one of the important example like the the five year planning system in india the planning and after the five years what should be done so deciding advance so the management point of view this one of the important element is a deciding advance what should be done so it is a first important characteristic is a managerial function and second one is a goal oriented the planning is always goal oriented there's a purpose oriented that is objectives oriented so give the answers where when how what who why so that is the one of the important element is a goal oriented and is a progressive that is a universal apply, applied principle the planning is always pro progressive that means uh, universally applied that is a continuous activity the planning is always a continuous activity that means is the planning is not for the short period that is throughout the life of the management so this is a continuous activity uh, suppose in indian economy there is a proper plan uh, without the planning definitely your economy will be slowed down so the planning is very important element the so planning combination is very important element for the economic point of view as a country point of view the lot of the policies are taken by the government of india because this is a part of this planning after the 2020 what will be uh, what are the important elements and what what should be done so the planning it's like a futuristic and is a continuous activity and planning is a intellectual process the planning is treated as intellectual process is that means it is a intellectual thinking think before you speak that is a mantra of your the planning as a planning point of view as the plans are taken by the expert and he always think the positive and the negative side of the plans suppose uh, the prime minister always think what are the positive side and the negative side of the plan or the procedures so the planning is treated as intellectual process and another one is planning is a futuristic that means it's a future oriented so the plans are mainly for the futuristic the future side that's a futuristic so it's one of the important characteristics it's a futuristic and another one is a decision making the planning is always focusing on the uh, the decision making so these are one of the important elements of the planning this is a managerial function the goal oriented progressive the continuous activity intelligent process futuristic and deciding advance and how to take the plan a lot of steps for the planning there's a follow up is one of the important stage of the planning so the planning and controlling are mutually connected the plans and controlling are the mutually connected without plan your the control will be not possible so the plans and the controls are 
mutually connected. So that is, these are the important elements of the planning. So what do you mean by this team is the planning? Deciding advance, what should be done in future, the team is known as your the, the planning and these are the important elements are part of your the planning. Okay, and after that what do you mean by the team is organizing. Organizing is a very, very simple function, there is a grouping of an activity. The team is known as your the organizing. And these are the important uh, elements of the organizing. One is the deciding the job and grouping of the job, establishing the reporting and the, there is uh, other distributing the authority and coordinating the activity and differentiate between the positions. So these are the important elements of the organizing. So organizing means is a bringing together the activities of the organization. The team is known as you are the organizing. So bring together because it's very important. Let's look at the, this, this diagram. The manager is bring together this entire person for the common point. So that is a, a tactics followed by the managers is a grouping of the individuals or grouping of the person for the success of your the organization. So there is a grouping of an activity. The team is known as you are the organizing. And the first important element is uh, designing the job. And the organizing is purely depends upon the designing the jobs. And another one is a grouping of jobs. There is a grouping, it's essential. There is a marketing function, there is a finance function, there is a HRM functions within organization. So you must be grouped, the entire activities in your organization. The team is known as you are the grouping. And third one is establishing the relationships. The establishing the relationship between the colleagues, you are the workers are within the organization. The team is known as you are the, that is establishing report and the relationship. And another one is distributing the authority. Give the authority is granted. The top manager is giving the authority to the three important persons. The, the, uh, these are the important leaders in the groups. And the manager is always given the authority to the three, the these persons so distributing the authority and there's a coordinating and these persons are coordinating the entire activities in your other management so there is a coordinating the proper coordination is done by this individual within the organization so there is a coordinating and the differentiation between the position there's a top level workers there that sometimes low level workers. the top level middle level low level so there's a differentiation between the working arrangements and these are the important elements of the organization organizing one is the designing jobs grouping of the job establishing the relationship the distributing authority coordinating the activity and differentiation the position these are the important elements of the organizing organizing is a second important functions of the management okay uh, let me conclude the first we uh, discuss the syllabus so what is the syllabus of the you are the bridge course. Uh, this is a syllabus regarding you are the bridge course. We have to study. One is the history of the management, functions, planning, organizing, staffing, directing. There is a controlling, the principles of the management, the financial management and process, importance of the communication. Uh, these are the important uh, elements regarding the syllabus of the business management as part of the bridge course. Okay. And we are starting with what you mean by the team is management. Management is the deciding advance what should be done in few. Sorry, the management is art, the getting things done through others. And the Henry Fayol state that the manage to forecast, to plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate the control. The team is known as you are the management. Uh, this is a history of the management, the four important period, pre-scientific, classical period, neoclassical and the modern theory. And this is a transition the management from the classical approach to the, the modern approach. And this is a functions of the management planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling. These are the important functions of the management. Let's discuss two important functions. One is the planning, the deciding advance what should be done in future. The team is known as you are the planning. And second one is organizing. The organizing means bringing to the entire activities in an organization. The designing jobs, grouping of jobs establish report distributing an authority coordinating the activity a differentiation between the function this is a, fun a part of the organizing anyway thank you thank you so much and thank you for watching me